Now let's create a map to drive the specularity. So the shininess right now of this is being driven by the material. And so we have a specular color and right now it's set to this blue. We can change that. And you can see the further we get down towards black, the less shiny it becomes. And it's super shiny up here at white. And so we'll use this as our gradient within our texture to define how specular we want this to be. And so we'll go ahead and create a new layer. Let's call this uh, we'll just call it spec main. Say uh, we can make it the same size, or we can make it a little bit smaller. We'll just make it the same size for now, and we'll set that to specular for the channel, and that'll bring that map in. So what I want to do is kind of figure out the base, kind of the base amount of specularity that we want, and so going in here, um, the specularity. Let me actually get rid of that for just a second. Um, we looked at that specularity amount. And so I want to kind of figure out the base specularity. So I think kind of something like that will probably work. Okay. So once we've got that map, we can add that gray in. to the map. So we can go ahead and select a color around the same kind of general area of that. And let's go ahead and fill, we'll flood the paint layer with that color. All right. So now we can start to decide what areas are going to be more specular versus what areas are going to be less specular. And let me actually change the gloss a little bit too. I'll increase that amount just a bit. And so we can figure out what areas are going to be a little bit shinier. So maybe this area is going to be a little bit shinier. So we'll take our paintbrush and we'll get a color that is a bit darker than the gray that we added. Maybe something like that. Let's take our strength all the way up. And now you can see as I paint through on this specular layer, it's making wherever I'm painting kind of less shiny. So we can come in here along this area. Uh, part with the camo and make it a little bit less shiny than some of the other areas. It just looks like it's darkening up, but you can see it's making it a little bit less shiny than those other areas. So we can come in and begin to kind of break this up. And it doesn't have to be an all or nothing. You could use um, stamps to kind of change the, the specularity across the surface. Come in and just paint across here. And we just won't we won't worry about the dirt or anything at this point. I'll just come in and start to break that up. Now in some at some angles you're gonna have a maybe a hard time seeing the specularity change, so you may have to kind of move around a little bit to see that being modified. Okay, if there are areas we want to be maybe more shiny, we could take that color and increase it. And maybe in areas like this tape, we can come in and make that even shinier than the areas around it. And maybe even in certain spots, really drive that home. You know, so as you rotate around, you really see the difference, especially between the tape and the, the part with the camo. All right. We can, as I said, break up the specularity by just using a stamp. And then we could get something that's a little bit closer to black. And for instance, on this black part here, we can just start to break it up a little bit. So it's just not super shiny. So there's a little bit of variation there. Okay, and you could even you could do the same thing up here on the tape if you wanted to. You can get kind of a different, uh, oops, different stamp and kind of break it up that way. You can see you can get a little bit more 
Get those dots in there. It's kind of cool. All right, we can also re reuse uh, existing layers. So we could take this dirt layer, duplicate it, take the copy, and drop it down right above the specular. Okay, and then you can see, let me kind of rotate around here. You can see how that kind of takes the specularity out of it a little bit. You can also play around with your blend modes as well and kind of see what difference that makes. So it's kind of darkening up those areas where the, the dirt is. And you can have that kind of layered on top of it. Okay. So something like that. I really want the tape to be able to stand out there using the specular.